Hey guys, um, what's up? It's me, Devin. <coughs> and I haven't made a video in a long time, so I guess I'm making a new video. I'm making a video of all of my hockey equipment. I'm not going to show you the new thing I just got. I'm going to start with the new thing I got. I got a new uh, goalie stick because the goalie stick I currently have it is like too small and stuff. So, I got a new CCM Premier Pro goalie stick in blue and white. It looks really sick. Can't wait to actually use this on this. Yeah, it's a really nice stick. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna go on to my pads. I have. CCM Extreme Flex 3.5, which is just like the Extreme Flex 3, but it's just like two levels below the Pro version. So it's a 3.5 as a knee roll, one break, and yeah, it's a very light pad. It's the lightest pad I have yet. This is the lightest stick I have so far. It's like very, very light. Again, I forgot to say, I don't have to put tape on the shaft anymore because it already has grip here. Yeah. You can, it tells you there. Now you can't really see, it won't focus. So. Yeah. Next, my helmet. It is a Bauer N N M E five, something like that. Yeah. So far, it's the only helmet I, the first helmet that I have, and uh, yeah, it's going into my third year goalie. So this is probably gonna last me until like bant on because it's like a huge goalie mask. You wouldn't really want to smell my helmet because it stinks because all my sweat is here. Yeah. Just put put stickers on it with my number and just uh, uh, Can Montreal Canadiens logo, which is my favorite team. Looks like he got hit by a puck, which is very mean. Probably someone named for that. Yeah. Also, this thing is a big scrape from, like, I think. It's when it was a one on one coming against me. It was a breakaway. And I got pushed, and my head went back to the post. My head hit the post real hard. It's not even broken, it's just chipped paint. That's how you know this helmet is rock solid. Also got a lot of hits right on the cage. I have a Bauer neck protector. Also have the Montreal Canadiens over there. Let's go into my blocker and trapper. I have a CCM Extreme Flex 2 760. Now this is the same thing as that. It's two levels below the actual Extreme Flex 2. It's actually good that I have this. I bought it used 
but most of these puck marks are from me. Like this, 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 that, 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 all of these here. Yeah. A lot of the puck, because my dad actually washed, um, like, oh, well, it's not up there anymore. It uses, like, liquid, and it cleans the block or trap or pads from any puck marks. We used it. Got a couple of amazing seeds from this area. Next to my trapper, it is a two piece one two. It's an amazing uh, trapper. It closes really good. Opens really wide. So we can just catch everything. Yeah, it's also the stream for the X760, so it goes with this. Next, my pants. So I have the uh, Bauer Supreme S170, which is basically one level no two levels below the pro version it's very comfortable no. yeah nothing really so um knee pads since i'm a goalie i don't have those things that are connected so i have to wear them separate they're bauer vapor X900. I think they're either one or two levels below the Pro. They fit very good and they're very comfortable. Next, my skates. They are the Bauer Supreme see, Bauer Supreme S170. It's the skates Matching with my pants. Very good, but very they get very loose and it makes my ankles tired. Oh, I did not notice how damaged it was here. Why is it so damaged? I barely, like, save. I never even saved a puck from back there. I never saved a puck on my feet. Or maybe here. Yeah, I have saved a couple there. You know, it's going to last me at least half the season or this season, which is starting September. I can't wait to see. I'm expecting the same tune, hopefully. But the thing is, everyone's going to know me because of, like, probably people in Pee Wee probably know already how good I am. So last year, I was, I was the best, definitely 100% the best boy. But my chest protector, it is a CCM AB500. Bought it used at a store, don't really like it as much. Yeah, that's kind of why I want another one. Yeah, I kind of want another one. Alright, next. It's not really part of my gear, but something you guys probably don't care about. Skate goods. Just yellow elite hockey, you know. Socks. My team colors. Those are for selects though, not travel. Select jersey. Oh, wait. Goodness. You're gonna have to see the ceiling. I'm back. Oh. You guys are gonna have to see the ceiling once again. The walks. That's the back of my jersey. And 
number 31, my last name. My bag. It just says Team Canada. Yeah, very boring. Don't, it doesn't say the brand at all. <coughs> uh, next, Matt, you guys probably don't even care. It's that, it was from a tournament. <laughs> my first ever hockey tournament. Oh, yep, yeah. neck guard. It's just a branch, you know. No name to it, so I don't know. Uh, what is inside? Oh, yeah, Howie's Hockey Wax. It's the best hockey wax in the world. Can't even open it. Jeez. Well, here it is. I use it a lot. It looks very blue in this, but it's... Less blue. Just smell it. It smells so amazing. It smells really good. This is where I like put the wax on the bottom of my stick. Like I'll show you. Guys probably don't even care. If you don't care, just skip. Yeah, it goes like this. Then for I just keep on going from this area. And just wax it. I put a lot of wax on my hockey stick. I just don't. I don't do this. I just cover the whole entire stick. Actually, I should start calling it twig. And I want because uh, hockey YouTubers call it like that. Yeah. How is hockey wax? Oh yeah, my other jersey. Uh, yeah. My last name, my number, was just for like a goalie. I mean, a hockey camp. Started. My hockey coach actually did it. Oh yeah, my mouth, my mouth guard, my mouth guard. It's just an Under Armour, guys. Don't even care. Don't even look at it because it's disgusting. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know what this is for. It's probably for sharpening blades. <coughs> yeah. Uh, not that's not it. Uh, option. I have four rules. I had five. I used it all in taping my new stick. So this is the old one. Got. Oops. Four other rolls of tape. I like white tape, not any other color, just white tape. Oh my gosh! It's not falling out. Oh wait, actually I can use it. It's... River... No, I thought I said river. Renfrew. Renfrew. Hockey tape, you know. Alright. Oh, this is my dad's equipment. I'm not going to show you my dad's equipment because, yeah. This is our shoe to fix. All the things. Tell me in the comments what thing looks the best. I think it's my new stick. But, but you can pick anything. But yeah. So... This is my first video in, oh wait, I forgot my Shriok stuff. I brought it inside because my, apparently, like, no, I'm, not, I'm just not going to tell you about it, why I brought them in. Yeah, so, um, bye. I will see you in the next video, which is, maybe, during my hockey camp or my yeah my hockey camp. it's kind of like the ones that my coach did my coach is doing it but it's much longer and it's in the first or i think first week in, in august and it is actually i think five six or seven hours a day of hockey should be like four hours, no, actually, oh, probably four, five hours on ice. The rest, taking out rest. Yeah, I think we do that for at least a week. And just get ready for the season, which starts in, oh, sorry, my finger, my finger. Um, which should start in September. I don't know when. I forgot to show you my mini sticks. I have a warrior, 
Bauer and another warrior. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, bye. I will see you in the next video.